the Parker Sorento 100. The latest design from Parker, 10 metres long, just over 3.2 metres wide. I'm going to give you a detailed tour, put the kettle on, it's going to be 20 minutes. Let's go and have a look. As you can see, this boat's equipped with twin Mercury 300 horsepower V8s, probably the most sought after outboard on the market. They're 4.6 litre, the V8 powered, the high cubic capacity, they're quiet, they have a lean burn mode underway when you leave the throttle in a set position. They have a five year warranty, they're easy to maintain, they tilt fully out of the water, which is most important. And we've just done a trip to the factory in Wisconsin, Fond du Lac, and I have to say that's probably the most advanced outboard factory I've ever seen. In my opinion, these are a perfect match for the Parker Sorento 100. So the boat sits on a V-hull, it's a twin step V-hull. So with 600 horsepower, it's capable of 50 knots. 50 knots, it's five and a half tonne, which is very, very impressive. And only really due to that twin step hull is it able to achieve such good performance. A twin step hull also gets you on the plane quicker. It's better on fuel by about 20%, according to calculations. You'll notice all of the skin fittings, for example, on, a, on every Parker boat, including this one, they're metal, they're not plastic, they're very good quality. You see the stainless steel hardware, all of the bright work is of good quality. Got a midships cleat, lovely large side window. These are available with the sliding option, so you can access the fenders if you needed to. Going forward, large, glass windscreen and then the bow seating area will take you to in just a second. You'll notice up the top there is the sliding roof which is all electric. So aft end of the boat. On the port side we've got a stern locker there perfect for ropes, ski lines, that kind of thing. Notice the stainless steel hardware on the back there as well. And on the starboard side is our boarding ladder, stainless steel with teak rungs. So again, very, very good quality. To tilt the outboards fully out of the water, you do need to lift the rear hatch uh, to allow them to tilt fully into the well. We've got hydraulic power assisted electro hydraulic steering. So the, the helm is very, very light indeed got our water filler down there and then access to the rear bilges, things like engine bolts, that kind of thing. This boat's equipped with the optional shore power, which I'm sure everybody would have. Plugs in on the back. Again, the brightware is of very, very good quality. Large rear sun pad. Now an interesting feature, the rear sun pad actually slides forwards give you a much bigger area. Now with the canopy in place, that actually becomes another berth. So you could argue this boat is suitable for seven people for the night, with that being a single for an adult. There's some very good features on this boat and probably one of the biggest, there are two, is the aft cabin. Because we've got outboards, we have the whole aft end of the boat. Parker have changed into an aft cabin much more privacy, adults in the fore berth, kids in the aft berth. Let's have a look in here, easy to access and actually there is sitting headroom in here, it's all fiberglass lined, a lovely felt headliner, little storage with 12 volt socket, there is an optional music system that you can have in just the rear cabin, separate from the main boat and the rest of the speakers. Large double bed, it's actually a very nice place to be and easily, if you were eight foot tall, you would fit in there. Decent mattress, certainly four or five inches thick, not your average two inch foam that uh, you see on some boats. Storage, the forward end there. 
comes with the little plant. And look at that view of the twin V8 Mercury 300s. That is a nice view to wake up to in the morning. Okay, so that's the aft cabin. Let's close it over. Back to our beautiful sunbed. So, main area. We have this lovely, it's actually a U-shaped seating area because the port side seat flips the other way. I'm sure you're all used to seeing that on a parker now. So there's room here for three, four, there's seven people around this table and then a, another eighth person at the helm seat. The table is electric, so it does go up and down electric. Or overnighting. Another really cool feature, nobody likes doing canopies, takes forever. Parker have solved that with these side pods. So with them open, you can literally lift out the side curtain, slide it along, close the hatch, and clip it in place. It will then zip onto the rear curtains, same the other side, that is absolutely brilliant. Another brilliant design by the Parker team. Holding it away, again, nice and easy. It just tucks in. That is brilliant. Okay, some other features. This boat is really cool, really cool. One of my favourites of all time. Fender storage on the starboard side. A bin. The boat comes with a bin. Absolutely fantastic. Very few boats, certainly at um, this size, that have a bin on board. 240 volt power, LED, dimmer light control switch, USB, fire extinguisher, twin lockers. And then you've got three drawers, a cutlery drawer, okay, very deep. Um, you'll see some bits on here. We've just finished the Southampton International Boat Show, so some of our bits are still on here. The galley, very important. We've got to clip this end, and then the lid lifts up, it latches into place, like so, lift the tap up, and that is your galley station. The Dyna Cook is a twin gas canister stove. So it uses disposable canisters. There's no big bottle you've got to exchange with, with B&Q or anything like that. They're disposable, you just replace them. Very effective, it's a new design. Uh, it's, it's worth taking a look at this, uh, even if you're not buying a new, a new Parker. Have a look at this feature. Uh, and retrofit it to your current boat. Hot and cold water, two options for hot water on here. You can have a hot tank, which is 240 volt controlled, uh, or you can have a water boiler. We fit the Webasto water boiler, so you've got on-demand hot water throughout the day. It's also the storage in the lid, which is for sink top. Okay, it's so simple, but there is somewhere to put the lid for extended food prep. Tilt the lid back, slide it along to the end. So that gives you a huge area to lay out your food, your olives, your cheese, your bacon, your eggs, whatever you're going to cook. It's clear of the cooker and that gives you just a massive galley to be cooking on. Now, if you're anything like me, we don't really do much cooking on boats, but we do love a fry up in the morning. Evening meals are usually restaurants on the marina, but you, you need to be able to do breakfast and certainly lunch, which is typically cold for us anyway. And that's the perfect, perfect galley for it. So we'll fold that away, carry on. The helm area. Another really important feature on any boat. It needs to be ergonomic. 
it needs to be functional and it needs to be comfortable. So the first thing you'll notice is this massive 22 inch multi-function display. It takes your maps, you can control the music, you can add VHF radio to it, tells you your fuel consumption, it tells you all the data you need to know in one big touchscreen display. Another feature, this boat has got a lot of features. This boat has bow thruster, everybody's used to, and stern thruster. There isn't really an easier, suitable control system than bow stern thruster with twin outboards. It doesn't get any easier than that. Um, if you've never tried it, pop down and see us. We'll show you it working. It's, uh, it's impeccable for boat control. We've got electric windlass, we'll show you that up the front. And here's our Mercury control system. Now all of these V8s now come with active trim. So you can set the profile that you'd like the boat's attitude at and then adjust it accordingly. You can also start both engines just with one press of the button, we'll show you. One, two. So both start up. You can also have just one lever in operation. So you can put the starboard engine into reverse, as you can see we're not going anywhere, and then both engines are on one controller. You can trim them both at the same time, uh, and you can rev them up. Again, both at the same time. It's a very nice control, it's comfortable to hold, it's easy to use, especially both engines on one stick. Absolutely brilliant. And you can stop them on that single button as well. So you do have two keys, we've got our all important kill cord. This boat's equipped with the Hydra tab system, which is the automatic trim tabs. I haven't got them switched on at the minute. Uh, that will automatically trim the boat for you. So you've got automatic trim for the engines, automatic trim tabs for the tabs. So it's, all, it's, almost, it's almost like autopilot. Little locker there, put your phone, your car keys when you get on board, nice and safe. Also acts as a nice armrest when you're underway. This little command screen controller allows you to control the screen as well when you're underway because it's very difficult, as you'll know, if you're bouncing around a little bit, to press the button. Whereas on here, you can zoom in, operate the music, change map, all on this button as well. So again, very clever system. Somebody's really thought about how that is functional. So next feature, electric sliding roof. This is faultless. It's a canvas top as well. It's a huge opening. It goes a long way back. That's it all the way back now. That gives you just all this natural light, fresh air. This is where you do your boating. You're not downstairs in a big cabin. When you're boating, it's typically nice weather. You want to be up here. You want to be in the sunshine. So we've got sunshine on the rear sun deck. We've got sunshine in the main cabin. And then I'm going to show you in a second the bow sun lounge. You're going to love that. Really, really fantastic. This boat literally has so many features, cool features. Uh, I'm yet to meet the designer, but when I do, I'll be shaking his hand because he's done such a fantastic job. Locker in the floor there, good enough for life jackets. Um, not quite deep enough for some big fenders. We've got drawer fridge. Put some of our lunch in there for today. There's an optional fridge which goes on the starboard side if you want it, and that's the door style fridge. Or you can have two door style fridges, it's entirely up to you. Or indeed a freezer, should you wish to have a freezer. You can stand at the helm, out the roof. You've got a very clear, unobstructed view, 360 degrees around. We're in Ocean Village Marina at the minute. Uh, we're leaving here today. Our preferred marina is Chichester Marina, operated by Premier. We like it there, we also have an office there, so it's very convenient. This panel lifts up, 
It allows you to put the seat back and stand at the helm. Tilt wheel. So you're sheltered from the flow of the wind when you're underway. Very important. So the screen really does protect you from the elements. And at 50 knots, which as I said this boat would do, you do want that protection. So everything's just in control of where you need it to be. So, forward facing seats when you're underway. Again, really important. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six at the back there. Six forward facing seats when you're underway. Nobody likes sitting facing backwards. Nobody likes sitting sideways. They want to look where they're going. They want to be facing forward. This boat will accommodate the six in the main cabin area. And then another three on the bow sun lounge. The port side seat here, again for two people, you've got a decent footrest. Again, it's very comfortable. You've got a grab handle just in case it's a bit bumpy out there. Clear visibility for everybody. Um, with the windscreen closed, and there's a little gate here. Those two clothes, when you're sat here, there is no draft whatsoever. It's very, very comfortable. We've tried it, obviously with the roof closed as well. Otherwise, uh, you'll get a bit of wind coming in. But for two people, absolutely as comfortable as they come. Okay, the bow lounge, let's take a look. It's so fantastic. Importantly, the screen support goes right the way across to give the whole thing rigidity. It's nice and easy to walk up through. Even the position of the steps are in the right place so you don't hit your head on the screen as you're coming up through. It's so well positioned. Bow lounge area. Three people comfortably. Let's give that a try. Armrest, cup holder, USB charger. And charge your phone. Okay, very comfortable. When we took this round to Southampton Boat Show, I took some passengers with me, they were straight up here. This is where they, they aimed for. So if you're anchored in Newtown Creek or wherever you might be, you're off to the hut, this is where your passengers are going to be. Absolutely fantastic. The type of thing you see on a much larger super yacht, a bow lounge. Well, Parker have managed to squeeze it into a 10 metre. So windless while we're up here. Comes out through the hull, which is a nice design. Parker supply, stainless steel roller, stainless steel anchor. Again, all very, very good quality. Big 8mm gypsy on the Lumar windless. Big cleats, LED navigation lights. We've had installed on this boat, as you've probably seen through the rest of the video, the decking. The decking is Evo deck laid by the Teak Men, uh, based in Chichester. I would say the best deck I've ever seen laid on one of our boats. Uh, certainly, for that matter, on, on any boat we've ever seen. It's an absolutely perfect job, perfect colour, and really does look like natural teak. It's a fantastic job. They also did the little step on the port side seat there. So that's Evo deck as well. Okay, down in the cabin, starboard side, our heads, beautiful wet room, toilet, with a shower that you can stand up in. Have a look at this. Let's keep you on the toilet. Got our glass bowl, electric toilet to macerator, even a loo roll holder. Um, we've got our switches, overhead storage, two of those. Hot and cold water, of course, if you do opt for one of the hot water options and then half shower. So you can sit down, uh, but you can also fully stand up. I'm five eight and I can stand in there. There you go, all right. So that's the heads. Again, beautiful heads for a 10 metre boat. Forward cabin. Sitting headroom on the end of the bed. And this is just a very nice place to be. Hull windows, both sides, so you can see out. Great to wake up to in the morning. Bed's certainly big enough. 
for two people, maybe two and uh, a young one. Um, two 40 volt power storage lockers both, both sides. We have an opening four hatch here, which if you can imagine the bow lounge cushions are on there, but the cushion that covers this hatch does come off if you wanted natural light coming in. So take the cushion off and lift the hatch and that gives you some fresh air in the morning. GRP lined headlining and then this again beautiful soft velour type material as the headliner. But actually nice place to be. A few other details you can have this stone coloured upholstery instead of the blue. I think that's very good for hot countries you'd have this colour as opposed to the darker colour which gets quite hot when the, when the sun's out. A few more details on the engines. A little flap there, check the oil, top the oil up. There's also one handle to take the whole cowling off so you're not reaching around trying to find the clips. It's one handle, check your oil there. V very much maintenance free from a user point of view. They do need an annual service. It's every 100 hours or every year, whichever comes first. There's an optional service at 20 hours or three months. It is optional. And then every third year is what Mercury call a 300 hour service, which is every third year or every 300 hours. And that's a bigger service. It costs a little bit more money. Um, on that score, we're able to look after the engines going forward. So boats purchased from us we look after. We've got customers from back in 2010 that we're still looking after today. We recently won the 2023 and now the 2024 as of last week, Mercury Customer Service Award. Only two Mercury dealers in the country got that award. We were one of them. So buying a boat from Boat Shop means you're looked after going forward. This boat's got so many features, it's, it's mind blowing. I'll do a very quick recap walk through so key features twin step hull 10 meters aft cabin the super duper galley which extends for food prep the side lockers for the canopy the electric sliding roof to the main cabin area the 22 inch screen the stern thruster the stern thruster so so easy built in at the, the stage of design and build it's there bow sun lounge we've seen up there the shower that you can actually stand up in, just to remind you. Beautiful four cabin for when you do want to spend the night or the weekend or indeed the week on board. Evo deck decking, electric table, sleeps seven people. It sleeps seven people. If you'd like to come and have a look, get in touch. Our telephone number is 01903 or call my mobile. It's on seven days a week up until nine o'clock at night, no later than that. 07713 151 994. I'm Mick and thanks for watching.